there you guys, it is me, Random Josh, and I'm back again with another Random Monday video. And today I wanted to talk about something, um, which is, you know, quite fun. So I wanted to just discuss how to get famous on TikTok. Um, so I, first of all, would like to say, no, I'm not TikTok famous. Girl, that's too much effort for the loss, like my life. So I do only have a small following on my TikTok account currently. However, on my short time on TikTok, I've kind of learned certain little things. So like what people tend to hone in on and what they don't. <laughs> so, Firstly, I wanted to talk about some of my more popular videos seem to be surrounding either like LGBT stuff or very <laughs> sexual stuff. So recently I posted a video which is the um, let me sit this ass on you challenge thing where you literally just smooth your body down and smack your butt on the floor. I will post like I'll probably put like a little bit of the video in here but it's like the easiest thing to do but people love it and I don't know why <laughs> and like I did it just really quickly as a joke and people started liking it I got a load of followers from it and I was like okay so I just have to act a bit more scandalous and people will like me more. Is that what TikTok is all about now? Um, whereas like my other videos where I'm sitting there doing, you know, legit makeup, like one of my more recent ones, um, like the candy skull video, that didn't really get anywhere. And that's me showing off my creative side. And I was a bit like, well, what the hell? I can sit there and spend two hours making a video for like a makeup based thing where I'm actually pushing my skills, showcasing my talent um, and things like that. Or I can sit there and kind of do a video where I push my butt onto the floor and get a load of views and likes and followers. Girl. <laughs> it just blows my mind to be quite honest with you so like again I'm not sitting there claiming oh my god I got me like thousands of followers and oh it didn't it did not <laughs> probably got me like 10 but that's an improvement on what I was on before girl so you know compared to everything else I think what's the other videos that have done quite well to be fair, the M to the B one, I think it's about trend following as well. So like when I did the video with the Scottish sisters, um, I'll try and put it over this side because I'm moving over this side now, <laughs> which was with Abby doing the makeup and me rapping along to it while wearing the makeup as well, um, which has literally been blowing up for some reason. Like my video has not been that crazy but like the trend itself is one of those like really popular ones of like Americans doing their impression of like what they think British Trav is and we just go along with it and take the piss as well so it is quite entertaining um <laughs> let me look I think another like solid point as well is like the music choice that you use should be something that's quite popular. So with like my makeup videos, I struggle because I like to try and think of a song that links with the makeup, but also is quite popular, like a good choice. Whereas like a lot of the songs, like when I was doing my um, Pride series, I kind of just went with it and hoped because the songs linked best, I mean the orange one, I don't know what that song was 
It was just a random one that I found. But I literally just went through and was like, yeah, that song will do, that song will do. A lot of the songs have actually been taken off as well now, which is really annoying. Because, like, you now will go back and watch the video and it's like, where's, where's the music gone? <laughs> so it's me lip syncing along to nothing, which is really embarrassing. But, hey ho. So yeah, this was another one that people really liked, which was the versatile life is the only life. Because, again, I'd seen people doing the um, shooting stars trend. And I was like, let me just make a joke out of this. And, I mean, <laughs> it's inappropriate as hell. But it was it was fun for me to film. Because it was just a little bit of light-hearted humour. But, again, it's so, like, low energy. Like, I'm not, I'm not even trying to do anything. Do you know what I mean? And people just buzzed off of that and I was like, girl, oh, what the hell? And the... Oh, I can't even take myself seriously when I look at this one. Me talking to a gorgeous guy and then him realising that we work together. That was actually quite a funny one. And people enjoyed that. They watch it, they don't like it. <laughs> it's like... A video that has how many views? 1,400 views and nine likes. Nine freaking likes, girl. <laughs> and it's based on a true story as well, may I just add. So, what can I say? Josh is a comedy queen when he wants to be. So some of them do fairly well, whereas others just do not pop off. And I feel like it's very similar in like the YouTube world. So like sometimes I'll be doing a video like this. I don't know how it's gonna emulate in the future. Like sometimes I can do a video and I'm like really confident. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be so, like it's gonna do well compared to like some of the other videos. And then it just doesn't and it flops and I'm like, oh. But then I'm like, I'll do a video that I feel yeah, it's just like a throwaway video. It's not gonna do amazing. It'll get a few. And then it doesn't. I'm like, go. what the hell? <laughs> it's so hard to like work out what to actually do. And that's what's like really confusing, especially with TikTok, because you just never know what's gonna happen on TikTok. I'm the worst on it though. I have some drafts as well, but We'll be keeping those secret for the future because they are featuring some exclusive content which is not yet announced even to you guys. But it will be coming soon, so don't worry. <laughs> but if you do want to check out my TikTok, it is literally just at random Josh. Um, I try and make funny videos. I'm not very great at it, so if anyone has any tips on, you know, trends, because I'm the worst at following trends. Like, <laughs> I'll see something and go, oh, that's a fun trend, I'll jump on that. And then I'm like, oh, I need to actually think of how to jump onto that trend and make it my own. And then I forget. And then I look back and I go, oh yeah, I was meant to do that, was nice. <laughs> like, I just, I want to like push out something good, but I also, I don't want to say I'm lazy. I'm not lazy. I am lazy. I'm not lazy. Mm. We're, we're in the middle there. Like, I can have my days. Like, today it was quite a lazy day for me. But, hey ho. Anyway, I think we're jumping off of topic now. We were talking about how to get famous on TikTok. Girl, how to be famous on TikTok. Be scandalous. Feature some, you know, popular trending songs or audio that they've got on there which is like very current, very popular and trending at the time because people are obviously more likely to find it. Hashtags as well. So find the kind of pacif specific, oh my god what am I like? Find the specific hashtags which are like current at the time but also relevant to the video. I know some people do not make them entirely relevant to the video, like they'll just chuck a hashtag on it for the sake that it is popular. But 
but uh, is it likely to do well in that sense? No. Will it get views? Maybe. This is very, very difficult, but you know. And what else is there? Oh, another thing as well that I was just thinking of, which I've seen a lot of people doing and it seems to work very well. I've not done it personally myself, but it's, well, I have done it, but not as much as some people do. Um, but it is actually reactions. So reactions are like ways to almost piggyback yourself off of someone else. It sounds really bad, but it is in a sense. Um, and again, I don't mean it in a completely negative way. It just, that's how it kind of is in a like simple term. So it's just you showcasing how your reaction and your feelings are from a certain clip or video or some sorts. So you are literally just duetting and going along with it. Like some people duet in certain ways and it kind of is interesting. Other people just show their reactions, which is, is cool, it's fun. Um, whether it's something that I wanna do, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll do a few reactions here and there. But I don't know. <laughs> it's not really something that I tend to do. I just, I go on to TikTok and just send my friend Kaylee untold amounts of videos. Like we just send each other videos all day, every day. Because we will go through, we'll find them. And we're just like, girl, I'm wetting myself right now. <laughs> like we go insane on there. Right, but anyway, you guys, I didn't want to make this too long of a video, but I kind of hope you enjoyed it, and it was somewhat informative. If you do have TikTok, let me know. Um, I'm always open to finding new fun content to watch on there, so let me know down below if you've got a fun little TikTok account. And while you're at it, you might as well go and follow my account. I mean... <laughs> It's not amazing, but it's great. <laughs> I just show off my weird personality even more. So if you love my content here, you're probably gonna love it on TikTok because it's just as weird. I'm just as crazy. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see each and every one of you guys in the next video. Peace out.